This information has been embargoed until 6 o'clock this morning, and now we can tell you that Fox News has obtained thousands of brand new anti-Trump text messages between the lovebirds pictured right there, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Those new messages now raising even more questions about what the FBI knew about the Clinton investigation and when they knew it. And guess what there's a reference to in this exchange? President Barack Obama. Griff Jenkins live in Washington breaking it down. Griff, get us started. Good morning, guys. It's shocking. It raises serious questions, and it reflects a deep disdain for not only the president, but for Republican voters. Let's get right to it. In one exchange, Strzok ridicules Virginia voters who voted against his boss, Andy McCabe's wife, Jill, in her bid for a Senate, state Senate seat that she lost, writing, quote, disappointing, but look at the district map. Loudon is being gentrified, but is still largely ignorant hillbillies. Good for her for running. But curious if she's energized or never again. These texts are being released by Senator Ron Johnson in the Homeland Security Committee, along with a report entitled The Clinton Email Scandal and the FBI's Investigation of It. And the messages shed some light on the timing of the discovery of hundreds of thousands of emails found on Anthony Weiner's laptop. On September 28, 2016, Struck writes, got called up to Andy's earlier. Hundreds of thousands of emails turned over by Weiner's attorney to Southern District of New York includes a ton of material from spouse Uma Abedin sending team up tomorrow to review. This will never end. Now, investigators tell Fox News this raises serious questions of timing because it wasn't until a full month later on October 28th that FBI Director James Comey informs Congress that he is reopening the Clinton investigation, begging the question of why it took so long, an entire month, for Comey's investigative team to inform him of this discovery. And on Election Day, Page writes... OMG, this is effing terrifying. Struck replies, OMG, I am so depressed. A few days later, November 13th, Page writes, I bought all the president's men, figure I need to brush up on Watergate. The next day, she writes, God, being here makes me angry. Lots of highfalutin national security talk. Meanwhile, we have our task ahead of us. Page's meaning there, quite unclear, as is her last message. Look at this, June 23rd, 2017. Please don't ever text me again. So guys, a lot breaking on this. A uh, hat tip to Jay Gibson, our uh, producer. This is really starting to unfold and it continues to paint the picture that struck him page and the feelings they had for the president. The only thing I could say, Griff, is un this is just a wow moment and more could be coming after 9 a.m. today. All right. Thanks. Griff, thank you very much. Uh, this is all prepared. Uh, Senator Ron Johnson, Homeland Security uh, Committee, has this paper out. It's called the Clinton email scandal and the FBI investigation into it. Well What's titled. Yeah, no kidding. What's curious, though, is one of the, the email passages from September the 2nd, 2016, and apparently uh, the FBI was preparing Director Comey for something because they were preparing talking points. And the text message simply reads... POTUS wants to know everything we're doing, which brings up the question, are they talking about the president of the United States? Are they talking about Barack Obama? Does that mean he was involved in whatever they were doing? That's a bombshell. Well, you could say, I mean, that's very diplomatic of you to say, were they talking about it? But we only have one president at a time. Well, we don't uh, know that it was specifically about them. Who knows? You could be talking, you could could be be talking about Washington or uh, John Adams. No, but could sometimes. Or president of a company, maybe? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we just don't know. We need to see more of the email. Right. And there are and hundreds got, of thousands and of And the ones that Griff just read, we have our, ta we have our task ahead of us, meaning we got a lot of work to do. But what to are make they sure our about? person gets in, it Co sounds very right. suspicious. I don't know what they're talking about in September specifically, but how interesting that it was Anthony Weiner's lawyer who told the New York FBI office, I have some more emails on my soon-to-be convicted client, uh, and some of them ended up being from Uma Abedin. When will this ever end? Peter Strzok comes out in, and I think that's very significant because you have this three-week gap between when James Comey, all six foot nine inches of him, comes out and says, investigation's open again, uh, game on, and in five days we look through it, no right. one, nothing there, and Hillary Clinton to, swears to this day, that's the reason why she lost. The question is, did Andy McCabe in that period call up James Comey and say, you're my boss, I got some news for you? Or did Andy McCabe say to himself, wait a second, let me fig figure out a way right. going here, then call James Comey, because one way or another, either James Comey was left in the dark by his subordinates, which shows he can't run an organization, right. or he was not telling the truth a myriad of times when he said,
said, this just came across my desk. Now I got to go tell the public. Well, you know, it is curious. Keep in mind, it was a couple of weeks ago that Andy McCabe was relieved from, of his duties. He was removed from his office. A lot of people said, does this have to do with the Russia thing? What's it about? That was actually regarding Michael Horowitz, who's the inspector general of the Department of Justice, looking into the Hillary Clinton email scandal. So clearly, it's all tied. He's also the reason Peter Strzok and Lisa Page were removed from the case. Yep, he's still getting paid through March when he retires. But this